Welcome back to another segment of online arbitrage. This is this is where I buy items online and relist it into my eBay stores for profit. Let's see what we bought today. Here's the unit I won online. I bought this one for $32.20. Had all kinds of uh, fun items in it. Uh, coins and watches and a uh, Ford owner's manual. Let me give you guys a look at these photos. Um, it was all kind of not a lot of close-up photos, which uh, that's probably the closest photo they gave you. Probably um, didn't benefit their listing very much that they didn't have close-ups. Um, but you got to see it all, and you got to kind of uh, figure what everything is worth. Uh, so we're going to dig into it. We're going to open it up. Here's how it showed up at my front door. A nice envelope, a little duct tape on there to make sure nothing bust open. So this envelope is pretty jam-packed full. Uh, nice heavy little envelope uh, full of stuff. $32.20. We're going to open this up and see what we got. All right, let's get into this envelope and see how they pack this up for us. Looks like they did put a healthy amount of uh, duct tape on the end there. But that's not going to prevent us. We got scissors, right? So we're going to dig in. Get this cut open, maybe. The duct tape is thick. Sometimes when you gotta get in these things, you gotta be careful you're not cutting the valuable stuff on the inside there. It has happened to me in the past where you accidentally cut a shirt when you're opening the package and uh, end up with a shirt with a hole in it. So uh, gotta be careful sometimes. Luckily, this no, uh, there's no shirts in this one. It is all kinds of other goodies, though. Okay, I think we're in. Here we are. I think I'm just gonna slide everything out onto the table, and then we'll go through it one item at a time. So they put a lot of bubble wrap on this stuff. It's definitely packed up nice. Cellophane. All right. Here you see it, thirty-two dollars and twenty cents. All right. When you got it all out here, it's basically four different uh, items. They got it uh, packed into one, two, three, and then this larger one here with an array of stuff in it. Oh, and there's one little loose packet here. Here's that Ford owner's manual. They threw that in there kind of loose. I know these sell for about $15. I think I looked this up and I knew that this would uh, probably pay for half of it. Um, so just one item paying for half of the purchase price, that's a pretty good deal. Um, we're gonna dig into these coins first, I think. That's the one that's calling to me. So let's get into these and see what these are all about. All right, that was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, but we have three items that came out of that first pack. This is the first one, a set of batteries. These look to be um, alkaline button cell batteries. These are typically what go in a watch or something like that. So that's good. I know we got a couple watches in this unit. So if we need one, we have one. Um, also a couple coins in here. Here's what we got. Uh, I have to look at it in a little more detail with the scope to see what this is, but uh, a kind of a rare coin and there's two of them and uh, America's first medals that's what they put them in so maybe they're medals not coins so we'll have to do a little research see what these are all about but a good start to this unit all right those first two look to be medals I thought they were coins but some sort of metal uh, we looked at them at the, a little more detail but I wasn't quite sure what they are so I might have to do a Google image search but we're gonna get into another one it looks to be a similar type of packaging um, we'll get this uh, this one's a little easier to break into let's see what do we have in here looks to be some sort of military metal there it is came with this it says it's a little photo, it says cute, isn't it? So I don't know what that photo is, but um, they obviously thought it was cute. 
and half dollar so it's a half dollar I think it says um, 1996 Liberty half dollar 1996 Liberty half dollar so we got a Liberty half dollar we'll have to look that up and see what that's worth so I think I might have said 1996 it was a 1986 Liberty half dollar I looked those up uh, there's currently 1400 listed and 774 have sold in the last 90 days so not a bad sell-through rate on those we'll have to see what one uh, which one we actually have and uh, compare it to what it's selling for online I can give you a quick look at what some of them are selling for though let's take a look Here's a look at some of the items that have ended recently for uh, 86 Liberty half dollar. $37 for that set of two, $1.25, $15.50, that looks like a set of two again, $15.50, 6 dollars $11.32, $5.75, $5.49, $6, $19.99 for two. That one looks to be almost exactly what I have there, $7.99, so maybe that's kind of the market price. So just based on that information, I'd say it's probably worth 5 to $10. Uh, not a big money item, but uh, they do sell, as you can see, 774 have sold in the last 90 days. So we get that one listed, it'll probably sell eventually. All right, we got one smaller item here. It looks to be a bracelet. We'll get this one open and then we'll dive into the big stuff. Uh, again, this was all part of this unit, $32 unit, $32.20. Um, that included the shipping, so uh, not a bad purchase price. Um, let's dig into this one and see what this bracelet looks like. All right, there it is. We got it open. A uh, nice little bracelet. Looks to be kind of silver and black design. Uh, is that like a leaf like a leaf design let's see it opens like so and kind of has that spring to it so I don't know nice little woman's bracelet a little decoration spring loaded I'm not sure what that would be worth but um, a little cosmetic piece here we could probably give five to ten I would say for this one as well so uh, it's all adding up let's get into the big one shall we so this is one of those nice bubble mailer uh, has an adhesive on this side that uh, you just fold over. So I think I'm gonna open this carefully because we can reuse this as a packing material in the future. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a full-time reseller. I have two eBay stores, one with about over 4,000 items and one short, just short of 2,000 items. I keep new items going in them daily um, and I have a vlog, a daily vlog that I share with people to let you know what's selling, what's new going up. I'm um, doing these um, videos just to kind of get some fresh new inventory, try to list in some different categories and make some YouTube content, some fun content for you guys to enjoy. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscription button. It would be nice for you to join my little journey online, my little YouTube journey and uh, come back and watch some more of these. Um, we're going to do them regularly. So the be plenty for you to watch in the future but uh, let's get into this and see what is in this lot so we have some more cellophane packaging inside of this bubble wrap mailer uh, bubble wrap uh, this appears to be some sort of a playing cards but there's also something else in here so I'm gonna get this unwrapped and I'll give you guys a look all right we got these playing cards out uh, vintage playing cards can be worth some money so we'll have to look at these see what they look like um, I guess we can do that now if you guys look at them um, they look to be some sort of Riverside Resort Riverside Resort so some sort of casino uh, branded cards uh, probably not worth too much couple bucks for a set of playing cards I'd imagine maybe five dollars tops uh, the vintage ones are the ones that are worth some decent money but uh, we'll look that up just to be sure uh, playing cards we could probably get a few bucks for them though Right, the other item that was in that pack was in this little baggie here. It appears to be some sort of glass top to uh, maybe some sort of uh, trinket that's in there, a little box of some sort, a jewelry box maybe. Try not to make too much noise, open this. But uh, there you go. Oh, maybe it's some sort of art display. I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks to be the top to something. Um, but uh, there it is. Let's continue. Maybe we'll find the missing puzzle piece to this uh, mystery piece of glass here. All right, we got the mailer emptied out. Um, two more cellophane packages here. 
So I must say they did pack this up really nice, uh, traveled to me in great condition so far, nothing appears to be broken. Um, we're going to get into this to make sure of that, um, but let's uh, open it up and see what we have in these. All right, I must say, uh, this one kind of has me a little excited. feels like a bag full of gold. I know it's not, but uh, it kind of feels that way. It kind of looks that way. Lots of shiny, silvery, uh, gold items in this little baggie. So I think what best bet would be to just dump it out here on the table. Then we can go through it one at a time and see if we have any uh, real scores in this unit. All right, we have it here on the table. I'll give you guys a look at it from up top. Um, it is kind of uh, delicate stuff. Uh, feels like it could get tangled up. Jewelry often does get all tangled up, so I'm gonna try to avoid that. But let's take a look at it from uh, as we uh, placed it on the table. So here's a look at it from up top. Uh, put it all out there and uh, spread it out a little bit. We have the two pins here, kind of the breast cancer uh, awareness pins made in China. Probably not a lot of value to those, but you could lot up a bunch of pins. This was another piece that kind of caught my eye. Let me give you guys a closer look at that, if we can get that to focus in. Um, it looks to be uh, three little angels of some sort. Um, not sure if the value of that is anything significant, but a little nice little pin nonetheless. Maybe five to ten dollars you could ask for something like that. Alright, so we're going to get into this and uh, look a little deeper into this uh, unit of goodies. Uh, this appears to be some sort of necklace with a brooch on the end, a little uh, design on there. Not sure if you can see that. What do you guys see there? Let me take a look at it. So that appears to be some sort of floral design to me. Uh, I looked at it a little bit closer. Uh, it's a nice looking piece of jewelry, um, probably well made and uh, probably worth 10 to 20 I would say for this piece. All right, here's the clickbait. We found gold, we found gold. I don't know, I don't think this is gold, but uh, we'll have to take a closer look at some of these pieces. Some of it might be gold slipping through here. I don't know, it looks pretty good. Here's a nice little piece, not sure if you guys can see that, but it says Special Grandma. Special Grandma on there, a little gold pin. Um, there's the backing of it. Nice little tiny gold pin, you could wear that on your lapel. Probably worth a decent amount of money. Little cross design on the front there. There were a couple more little pins in here, here's a little floral pin. Um, again, probably worth five to ten dollars, not too much money here. Here's one with the black stones, very similar, another little pin for your lapel. So they're adding up $5 a pop. There's a decent amount of uh, jewelry in here if you want to bother listing it all. So luckily for me, I have a jeweler in the family. My mom worked in the business for several years, is retired now, but still uh, stays active in it, volunteering at a thrift shop. Um, she does all the jewelry for their shop there and um, I often bring some jewelry to her just to have her check it out. She can spot gold much quicker than I can. So we have some here. I might just bring it to her and see what she says about it. Uh, she has good knowledge on what uh, custom jewelry goes for, what is worth listing and what is worth uh, moving on in other ways or just donating back to the thrift. I oftentimes donate some stuff to her thrift shop. Just so here is the rest of it. Like I said, it does tend to get tangled up when you have all those chains and whatnot. There is a little uh, heart here on the end of a uh, chain. That's a kind of a nice piece. A um, couple of earrings up here. It appears to be some Halloween themed. A little ghost on that one there. And some stars here. This is a little pearl set. I couldn't see uh, the other one, but uh, it might be in here somewhere. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time uh, sorting through this. I might just uh, bring this over to mom and let her go through it. I know that's kind of a her thing. She likes to get a bunch of jewelry, go through it, see if there's any uh, gems in the mix. So uh, we'll give her that opportunity maybe. Um, I'm going to pull a few items, of course, that I'll be listing in my store to make my money back. We want to get into the profit real quick as soon as we can with this. But uh, with those medals and uh, coins that we've already found and uh, playing cards and the bracelet, we got a good head start on uh, profits already. 
All right, here's a little look at what we got into so far. Like I said, this uh, this owner's manual was probably worth about 15. This was that coin I told you about, that 1986 silver coin. Let's see, uh, Liberty Half Dollar, there it is. That one sold for probably $10. Um, we have those extra batteries uh, that might be coming in handy because we have a couple watches still here coming. This mystery piece of glass, not sure what that goes to. And these were those two medals um, that we'll have to look up a little more. We got the playing cards and then all of this jewelry here that uh, we'll bring to mom and see what she thinks we should do with it. If it's uh, donatable or maybe there's actually a little piece of gold or silver in this mix. I don't know. We'll have to go through it in a little more. Uh, detail and uh, take a good look at it under a scope so we're not done yet we got one more package to go through this little cellophane this is the last one I think this has a couple watches in it if I'm not mistaken uh, what I want you guys to do at the end of this video watch to the very end and then let me know what your favorite item is let me know if I missed anything if there's some value in here I want this to be a learning experience for me I don't really sell a lot of jewelry so I don't have vast knowledge of it just a little bit but if you see something here you know is worth a lot of money, uh, put it in the comments. Hey, Brian, look that one up and I'll do the research and uh, hopefully learn something from this. That's kind of the goal of doing these is to uh, learn a little bit, gain a little bit of knowledge that I can share with you guys and uh, keep in my uh, reseller banks in, uh, for the future. All right, we got through this cellophane and we found another one of these nice handy dandy little bubble mailers. These are perfect for uh, shipping stuff in, so I'm gonna save this one for uh, my shipments, but um, let's get into this and pour it out on the table and see what we got in this one. we got into it looks like we have a coin here a couple spoons here another coin here but in this baggie there's a couple watches so uh, let's pour these out and see what else we have in this little baggie here it looks to be a couple nice watches um, that might be where the money is and another coin uh, in the baggie I mean in the cardboard there it is let's take a look at these in a little bit more detail shall we all right, the first coin we pulled was this. It looks to be a Polish, what do you call it? A uh, gross, gross with a Z, gross with a Z. Um, let's see if we can get this to focus a little better. There we go. You can see it, um, it has all the Polish uh, flag on there and all that good stuff. Um, I have to look this up and see what it goes for. And, uh, it is packed nice and neat, so we can just easily list it and uh, sell it for whatever it's worth. A nice little uh, touristy type of thing, um, probably worth five bucks, I'd imagine. The other item is this, the other coin. It says Numis, I think, on it. It appears to be a quarter in there. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see. And uh, right here where it says Numis, there may be some additional writing, but as you can see, it's a, a kind of a mirrored uh, reflection there. It's hard to read it. But uh, if you look at that, you can uh, see it almost looks like a quarter. It looks like it almost a smashed quarter, I don't know. We'll have to look at it a little bit closer, maybe get the scope out and see what it is. So they also have these spoons in there. They said t towel, T-O-W-L-E, towel-y, towel uh, So that might be the brand, I don't know. Uh, they look to be like little infant spoons, baby spoons or something like that. They're really small, maybe teaspoons. I don't know what you would use these for, but um, three little small uh, spoons. So we'll look that up, towel-y, T-O-W-L-E. Let's look it up. So apparently that's a pretty well brand, well known brand of, uh, of, of spoon. I searched Tally Spoon and there's 14,000 listed and uh, 1,900 sold. So um, there's a lot of them that are sterling silver. I don't know if these are, but they appear to be uh, pretty well made, well constructed. Uh, we'll have to do a little bit um, of research. Uh, you see the tarnish on them, uh, which looks similar to uh, what happens to silver. So. I don't know, I'll have to check with mom. She has more uh, knowledge on that sort of thing. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm learning as I go. I'm not uh, a flatware expert in, in any means. I've never really sold much of it. But I know that uh, some of it is collectible and if these have uh, some age, maybe they're a pair of uh, vintage, towel uh, 
flatware spoons uh, could be worth some decent money. Let me give you a look at what uh, what's what they're selling for uh, regularly. So like I said, 1900 have sold, 14,000 listed, not a great sell through rate, but uh, there's some good money here, 25, 39, 59, 95. This is for one spoon. Here's a set of four for $229, uh, $99, 35, 70, or $17.66, um, $10, $8.99. So as you can see, when one item could uh, pay for the entire uh, lot, I mean, I paid $32 for this lot of, uh, this junk drawer lot, and um, just one set of spoons, three, a trio of spoons could pay for the entire unit. So that's promising. We'll have to see, um, do the, uh, narrow that search a little bit and see if I can find these exact spoons and see what they're going for. Might take a little to, uh, time to figure that out, but uh, that's promising uh, to see some uh, towel-y spoons that could be worth as much as I paid for the unit. So you saw the spoons, but there were also a couple wristwatches in this. Uh, let's turn those over and see what we got. So here's a look at the first one. It says Swiss Ralph is the brand that uh, I read on there. Um, 1486 is the model number that I could read on the back there. Um, so I'm going to look this one up, uh, Swiss Ralph, and see what the value is, see what these are going for, how many are online and how many are selling in the last 90 days. Let's take a look. All right, we did a quick search of that. It looks like uh, it's Swiss, S-U-I-S-S-E, Ralph. Um, and uh, we did a quick search, and it said 49 listed, and I think there was only 9 sold. But it's also picking up Ralph Lauren watches, so... It's a little bit of a tricky search to do online, but uh, not a well-known brand. It doesn't look like there's a lot out there and not a lot sold, but it is a nice looking watch. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it's not working, probably needs a battery, but luckily we have some of these batteries. Um, so we could just maybe include this along with it or uh, pop one of those in uh, if we have the time to do that and get that sucker running um, and pass that profit along to my pocketbook um, but there was another watch uh, the gold one let's take a look at that one shall we all right here's the other watch also doesn't appear to be working but it is a Lewis Carden Lewis Carden so I'm gonna look that one up uh, this one is gold in color uh, not actually a gold watch but uh, with the black face there um, a nice looking watch um, probably just needs a battery to get it going again but uh, let's look it up and see what kind of sell-through rate Lewis Carden has online all right, we did a quick search. Lewis Carden watch. It turned up seven results. Uh, here's quite a few uh, of these up here. Seven of them. 22 for that one. Here's one that's similar for 40, they're asking. That one's a little bit more intricate. 119, they're asking for that one. 36 for that one. And then we have these down here. Um, there's a bunch there, I'm not sure, 107 and 115, but that does different kind of models it looks like. But this one is pretty interesting, 285 for this guy. None of them are gold in color like the one we have, but uh, that's a nice looking watch right there, $285. That's probably what it is brand new. Here's the actual website, looks like they do all kinds of stuff, uh, colognes, perfumes, watches, pens garments, uh, oriental fragrance, fragrance for her, fragrance for him, body mist, body spray, a little bit of everything, body lotion. Uh, let's take a look at the watch section. Maybe we can figure out what ours is worth. So I had the scope out. I was looking for the model number, but I'm not finding one. Uh, I found the website here. They have all kinds of watches. It would be nice if we could get the model number. I do find one here that's very similar. Mine does appear to have some stones on the insides. It just says quartz movement and um, water resistance. So uh, let me show you what I found. Here's a look at the one we have, and we found one very similar on the website. Let's take a look. So just eyeballing it, this one is uh, very similar. The 9856F um, it has the black face there and the gold coloring. So sometimes this is what you have to do. You have to put the time in to do the research. Uh, this one is round, uh, stainless steel case with matte finish, uh, analog display, pearl two-tone dial, three hands, um, Japanese movement, stainless steel band with butterfly buckle, that's what we have, splash proof, uh, timeless design combined with style functionality and high quality material. So uh, it looks to be the similar or same watch. Let's click on it and see what that one is selling for. All right, so I clicked on that link. Unfortunately, it didn't go anywhere. Um, just kind of took you uh, 
stayed on the same page. I did do an additional search um, of Lewis Cardon watches, but um, not finding any prices on anything. So we'll have to do a little bit more research, see what that thing is worth. Uh, you saw what they were going for online. There was a few of them up there on eBay. So we'll, uh, we'll do some more research before we list that one. All right, like I said, um, I was going to give you one last look at these items. I think we're going to call this an end to the video, but I want to thank everybody for watching. This is my attempt at uh, online arbitrage, going online, buying a lot, and moving it back online to make some profits. Uh, like I said, I paid $32 for this unit, and I think this is a pretty good unit. I, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I like a lot of the stuff that I found in them. Those watches were interesting. I have to do some research and maybe try to get them running and see what the value of those are. Uh, if anything, you know, they're probably 10 to $20 as uh, non-running watches. But you get those things running and uh, find out what they really go for, what they retail for. We could uh, have some comparisons and uh, some quality comps to uh, put out there to the public and uh, let them know, hey, these are this much brand new. Here's what I'm asking. That always goes a long way. Let's give you guys one more look at everything we found. Uh, and again, I'm gonna challenge you um, to look, uh, to leave a comment rather, to leave a comment with your favorite item. What's your favorite item in this lot? Um, which one stood out to you? Which one uh, you think I'm gonna get the most money for? Which one should I list first to make my investment back? Uh, is there one that will give me that $32 back right away? Or is it uh, a number of items that I'll have to list in order to get that back and uh, get into the profit? Um, I know I'm gonna list that uh, Chevy um, owner's manual. That was a quick one. That's a quick and easy $15 in the pocket. That was the one that first caught my eye, but all this other jewelry and stuff, I don't really have a lot of knowledge about that so uh, I'm gonna try to gain some of that knowledge get some of that listed and uh, uh, flip this into some profit uh, so uh, let me give you guys a look at that so here it all is it's kind of a big mess right now but here's that owner's manual a bracelet uh, that silver piece um, the two metals the batteries the playing cards another kind of mystery coin the Polish coin uh, the breast cancer pins all the jewelry here this kind of weird interesting photo of it i'm not sure if it's a picture of a little baby picture and it says cute isn't it so maybe that's a little personal item that slipped in here somehow uh, the spoons those spoons might be a winner i don't know they might be a little surprise they do have kind of a cool design on them on the handle here that i didn't show you guys very well then we have all the pins and these necklaces i'm going to take those to mom get her to help me um separate all this jewelry uh, see maybe if some of it will go to her thrift shop or maybe i'll list some of it stuff like this like this little pin this will be a quick easy little list um, this little angel pin as i drop it on the mix of jewelry here this one would be a quick easy one maybe list that that one for i'm thinking 14.97 if it'll ever focus that's the thing with this sony camera sometimes it doesn't focus but there's a good look at it the white and green and red angels um, that one I think, yeah, 15 bucks. Get half your investment back with one pin. Um, this was kind of an interesting necklace here with the floral pendant on the end. Um, and then we have the watches. Uh, we have the gold one that I was trying to find a comp for and the silver one as well. Um, this one was Swiss, Swiss, Swiss Cardin? Swiss, Swiss Ralph and Cardin. What was this one? I forget. We just talked about it. But um, not Ralph Lauren, Swiss Ralph. I knew I was close. It was Swiss Ralph and Louis Cardin. So those were the two watches we found. Not Pierre Cardin, not Ralph Lauren, Swiss Ralph and Louis Cardin. So we learned some new brands, stuff I didn't know about. There's all kinds of uh, stuff out there in those um, brands. I mean, they do fragrances and all kinds of stuff, apparel. So uh, we'll get to know these brands. Maybe there's some value, maybe not. Maybe they're kind of just uh, um, bargain brands, but um, nice looking watches nonetheless. We should be able to flip them for a few bucks. So like I said, take one last look here. Let your eyes gaze upon these and pick an item. Pick an item that you're gonna comment on. Which one is your favorite? Which one should I get listed first? Let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate your help.
So after you leave that comment, don't forget to hit that subscription button. You like these type of videos, I'm going to do more. Uh, kind of a fun way to uh, share my uh, business with you guys. I do a vlog, a daily vlog of the business, but I'm going to add these online arbitrage videos um, where I go online, I buy lots, and I try to flip them for profit. And I'm going to keep uh, you guys aware of when these items sell. If you um, if you check my daily vlog, uh, I always list what sells every morning. I'll uh, go on there and tell you guys what sells and uh, let you know throughout the day if I have additional sales. Um, so it's kind of a fun way to keep up with my business um, and venture into this world and learn a little a bit about what you can turn for profit online. Uh, we're learning new brands, we're learning new niches, so if you like to gain that kind of knowledge, this is the channel for you. Um, hit that subscription button, uh, ring that notification bell, that way you can be notified when I drop another online arbitrage video. I want to thank you for watching till the end. I appreciate you for watching. Thank you again. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.